subscribe to Bootstrap system if you haven't and today we are going to install time shift in Arch Linux, Manjaro and other Arch based distros ok the process is the same so for the installation add this repo to the edc pacman.com file in the terminal type this command press enter type your user password and press enter now go to the last of this file using paste down on the keyboard press enter and in here just copy these two lines copy and paste them in here click on paste okay now press ctrl o in the keyboard press enter now ctrl x to exit now after that you have to launch this last second command from here press enter now it's going to update the repositories to install the time shift type y and press enter now after this just launch the last command to install time shift type y and press enter now it's going to install time shift and it's successfully installed so let's launch it search for time shift press enter and your user password here press enter now it's saying we have to install cron tab okay so we are going to just install it now for installing cron tab you have to execute this command okay press enter type y and press enter it's got successfully installed so let's launch the time shift again enter the user password press enter and here you can see that we have successfully launched time shift here now you can do your further snapshots and everything okay rsync next estimating the system size here so this is my root partition select snapshot location so I'm just going to select my home partition for saving the snapshots click on next so here you can see snapshot levels daily we want to backup it daily okay and we will be keeping up to five levels of it all right now click on next now for the bootstrap station my user directory i have to include only the hidden files which are the configuration files okay so the hidden files are the configuration files stored in the home partition and for the root partition i want to include all the files okay so these two options you have to check all right and click on next now click on finish and now you can click on create from here all right so let's create a snapshot now and it's just creating it it will take around three to five minutes depending on the speed of your ssd or hard disk and here you can see that we have successfully created the snapshot all right so now if you click on settings in here you can see the type location schedule users and filters in the filters you can just remove and add the folders which you want to include or exclude okay so just add some files or some folders like if you want to add some folders go to the home directory here it's in their home partition okay and go to the user and here if you i want to include this pictures folder or let's say this skel folder okay so i will open it up now the minus sign says that it's not included in the backup so if i want to include in the backup i will just click on this option here to include with a plus sign okay and click on ok so you can do anything but i don't want to do anything i just wanted to show you like this just to move this entry from here okay and in the miscellaneous you can see the date format and click on ok from here so we can just click on restore to restore it choose the partitions you wanna restore it on okay you can also choose bootloader options update any time fs or do you want it or not it's on my ssd okay and click on close and click on next to restore it and follow the further steps all right now click on close and just close it from here please subscribe to boost station and that's it for now thank you for watching now it's time to discover more. Simply click on the screen to subscribe to our channel and watch another video to discover more.